I've been asked to make a video on editing seamless paper backgrounds without banding. And the first thing I do, which is really important, is I make sure my image comes in at a Lightroom um, no less than 16 bit. Um, and then I start by cleaning up. Now, this image has been edited, so we're just going to go through those steps quickly so I can get to the end where I get rid of any kind of banding. Um, first thing I did was clean up the backdrop a little bit um, so I have a base to edit with. And then I usually go to the skin tones a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to, it's hard to see here, but the paper was uh, puckered a little bit in the background. So I'm going to flatten the image, select the background, and then actually add just a light layer of paint on it so that um, those little shadows are in the back. It's hard to see on the video. Smooth out really well. So once the paint um, is on and done, um, it's kind of ready for me to add my finishing touches that make it my style. So I add those um, types of actions uh, to soften it up a little bit for a newborn portrait. And then here is where I would check to see if there's any banding. And actually, this picture is not too bad. This probably wouldn't print, but you can see some of the um, swirls where I was painting on it. And there's a hard line right here. So it is possible, depending on the lab, it could print. I put noise on all of my backgrounds regardless because I got tired of doing reprints. Um, so I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need it once we've seen that there was some action back there. And then I'm going to look over the entire image and see if there's any small things that bother me. So the only thing on this picture at this point is her hair right here. So I'll flatten it and use Liquify and uh, push it down a little bit. So I just altered that a little bit. And then I go to um, adding the noise. So it's already been done down here. I'm going to turn that off and I'll do it again. Um, I'll duplicate the background layer. And then I'm going to use the magic wand tool, and it really uh, uh, picks up the background well. There's a little bit of overlap here, so I tend to go into the quick select, and I'll uh, choose the alt key and just erase that. Um, and then I'm going to come up here to filter, go to noise, add noise. 2%, I use Gaussian and monochromatic, and um, once I click OK, then I'm going to turn that into a mask, and that's going to keep it only on the backdrop and not on the parents or the baby. Um, and then it's safe to add a vignette as well if you want to um, add, add a little bit of a vignette to change the lighting a little bit. Um, then when I get down to the final image, I can check for banding, and there should be absolutely none. So this has all gone away. Um, sometimes these videos um, actually band the video. Uh, so if you see some banding, that's, um, that's where that's coming from. Um, so this was the final picture. Uh, so we, I started with this, and I ended with that one. Um, and then there is a, a black and white version as well. And there will be no banding when this uh, prints. Um, I hope you learned something from the video. And take care.